Hello everyone. It's day nine of my scuba diving adventures. And tonight was the most incredible dive that I am going to try to put into words. This will be a challenge. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but that's the moon up there. It's uh, halfway lit right now. Um, and I had an experience um, that just almost transcends words. So here we go. I'm going to try to explain this. Okay. So we went on a nighttime dive in Dean's Blue Hole. And at first, of course, I was very nervous and scared about that because... Um, it's dark, right? Something I haven't done before, but yet I felt like I know my equipment. I don't need to be able to see it to know that it's there and what it's doing. And so I uh, felt like I can handle this, right? And so, but then we're using a flashlight down there. So we, we get into the water just before it's totally dark and we start our descent. I had a little trouble equalizing my ears, which made me nervous, but slowed down, ascended a little bit to get it there and then re-descended. So really using some good scuba skills now. And so then we, we reached our depth that we wanted to get and we used those flashlights to look at the walls of this beautiful hole and all oh, the colors of coral I mean just gorgeous maroon and orange and green and everything just stood out in a way that it doesn't during the day and the fish you know they're kind of like so happy during the day to see you um but when you're there at night they're like what are you doing here and they're a little, little spooked out is how I felt and it was so fun to shine the light in the holes and like just just to watch them and stuff um not antagonizing them or any way but definitely saying hello at a time of the day when they don't necessarily expect to see people and so it was just phenomenal but what was so cool about it was turning the flashlights off and just sitting and looking at the dark and being in the dark it's like being in the womb again you know and you look up and you can just barely see the hue of light at the top um but mostly you're just surrounded in darkness and it's quiet and it's still and there's nobody out there and it's just incredible and then did some more exploring you know made full use of the air that kevin put in that tank and then made our ascent and then what happened at the end of that ascent is something that is going to be really difficult for me to put into words. But basically, here I am rising from the depths of this 663 foot deep hole, you know, which of course I'm not going to the bottom to, but I have this connection that I'm building with this hole, right? You know, it's like this portal to Mother Earth for me. And then I'm coming up to the surface and it was time to take our masks off and I realized it's dark out. Am I still underwater? You know, I was confused for a second. I'm like, but I don't need my regulator, so I must be out of the water. And it just felt like I had entered into a whole different world. And then I looked up into the sky where I could see this brilliant, halfly lit moon surrounded by a ring that I can still see when I close my eyes of cloud just this beautiful circle around it. And the moon was beaming. So it's like the roots of my being are, are down in this hole, this abyss, this never ending abyss. And the my physical body is, you know, here in this earth plane, you know, just risen out of that water. And then I'm looking up and I'm seeing this moon and I'm awestruck, right? I'm like stuck there, frozen, speechless, not knowing what, how to even articulate. I mean, at one point I wanted to cry for the sheer joy of experiencing that much awe. And then at another point I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm gonna sit here and be totally amazed by it. And I had two songs that have been playing in my mind a lot while I'm here. There's one that goes, Ancient Mother, I hear you calling. Ancient Mother, I hear your voice. And then my grandmother's favorite song, which was, How Great Thou Art. And you know what? I'm looking up at this moon and that's exactly what I'm thinking, right? How great thou art. And just filled with such awe that 
I had to sit there for a while and just take it in because it was uh, an, a trippy experience. It was like, I don't know, going through a wormhole into another dimension. I mean, it was like I was in three different worlds at one time. And um, I still will struggle to articulate it, but it was awesome so awesome and I cannot wait to do another night night dive now and uh you know we didn't really see anything in the blue hole that was like scary or creepy or anything which was kind of nice for the first time that you're gonna do a night dive right um and then to be able to be just that struck and the only thing that really stopped me from be staring at it was that there's these little bugs that started you know nipping at me and I'm like ah you know I kind of got to get out, but um, even on the ride back, I'm just sticking my head out the window, peeking up at that at that moon, and I am still just entranced, and I am in a place where I have really departed <laughs> from what whatever it was that I was in before into a different, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm tranced out. I know it's not narcosis. We didn't go deep enough for that. I just l quite literally am awestruck, moonstruck. And to have that kind of feeling again is like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I want to keep. I want to do everything that's going to make me feel like this. You know, imagine if you saw like the northern lights up there or if that was a full moon. And, you know, it's just all the beauty of the earth that we that we live in. And, and wanting to experience it all, but especially scuba diving, because I just feel like I'm growing in my confidence as a diver, and I, um, I love it. I just love it so much. I'm so grateful to Kevin and Audrey and everybody who supported me to be able to have this experience. I'd cry, but I'm just so ecstatic. I don't think I can. Uh, maybe I will later. Tears of joy, you know, just to be able to be in that place of awe again. And um, I feel so happy and so much like, wow, I want everybody to feel this way who's going through any kind of a misery or tough time in life. You know, just put it all aside. Your problems will still be there when, you, when you're when you done taking care of yourself. And do what it takes to take care of yourself. And that's if it's scuba diving or if it's hiking or it's, you know, whatever it is that gets you there, take those breaks and depart from this life and experience awe and wonderment because it's just the best. So tonight was the best dive yet. And I loved it so much. It was so fantastic. And I am just so excited for my scuba diving life. You know, a life filled with scuba diving is just like, oh, wow, this is a life worth living. So thanks for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.